Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima Full Tilt Bike Rack and how it fits on our 2022 Lincoln Navigator. It is a hanging style bike rack capable of supporting up to five bikes at 150 pounds total. It's going to hold our bikes primarily by the top tube on the frame using these two, or two zip strips and one more here as an anti-sway to cut down on some of that side to side movement. So it does make frame contact, and in the event that you want to use this rack with some carbon frame bikes, we don't recommend it because it could damage the frame. And if you're trying to use an alternative frame or kids' bikes, you might have to pick up a bike adapter bar. The bike rack does tilt away, but we can't do it with the bikes loaded, so let's go ahead and get this bike removed, starting first with this anti-sway strip. Noting that the tire is there, and it can make this a little bit difficult to push out. It does go up and down a little bit, which can help you find some of those gaps. Also, you do have to find a place to keep these strips while you're doing this. We like to just kind of set them in the back there. There's one, two, and we'll get the third one. And now we can move the bike off the rack. Just set this on the side. And noting how far I have to reach to get this off can definitely be a little tricky, but there are these grooved edges on the actual arms themselves. So if you need to sort of walk it down like this, you can do that. Once those strips are out of the way, we can get the bike up and off. One thing you might want to be interested in is how far you're adding on to the back of your vehicle because it is a five bike and it is also hanging style, so it's going to add a decent amount. I'll measure that now, give you an idea of what that would look like. From the bumper to the furthest point back in our case, it's going to be right around four feet, so 48 inches, and that's definitely one of the longer racks that we have available, but you can condense it a little bit by folding the arms down. If we want to, we can undo this gray lever here, release it, here the arms snap into place, and we can grab a new measurement and see what that cut us down to. From the bumper to the furthest point back now, not counting the strips because those are removable, about 13 and a half inches, so you cut it way down if you fold the arms up. One nice thing about the rack, as we can see if it's folded up in this position, is the integrated cable lock that is long enough to fit through all the frames of your bikes along the arms. It'll just connect down here at the bottom, or it'll be the furthest end in the case when the bikes are loaded up. Also at the front, you can see we released this to activate one of the better features of this bike rack, which is the ability for it to tilt down and away from your car, giving us plenty of room to get into the hatch. And because of how the rack is shaped, we have plenty of space on either side of the rack to sit down, change our shoes, get into the hatch now, get anything we might need for our ride, like helmets, water, sunscreen, whatever you might need. Tilting it back up is pretty straightforward. Just lift it, you hear it snap back into place, and now we can look at what it covers on the back of the vehicle if we leave it in this position. So straight on, it's gonna block most of your license plate and most of your backup camera. The backup camera is pretty much directly in the middle, but because it is so streamlined in the center here, it's not gonna come into contact with either of your tail lights. And you might see a little bit out of the back of your window, but with a hanging style bike rack like this, with the bikes loaded up, you're gonna see those back there anyway. So that's something you're just gonna to have to deal with with this type of rack. The shank for this bike rack is an inch and a quarter shank. It's got this two inch adapter that fits into our two inch receiver tube. There's no pin to hold it in place. It's just sort of a tab that fits onto the actual rack itself that you tighten up with this anti-rattle knob that is key to like to the cable lock that we talked about earlier. If you unlock that or lock it, it unthreads so you can't turn it. Also down here, you see that there is a fin on the bottom of the shank to protect that knob from if you have a lower car, you might be bottoming out every once in a while. For the case of the Navigator, it sits so high up that I won't be worrying about it. If you're looking for a good way to get five bikes where you need them to go, but you don't want to take up a ton of space like a platform style rack might, the Yakima Full Tilt is definitely a good option for that. I like the fact that it tilts away when the bikes are unloaded. The integrated cable locks is a nice touch. And if you want, there's an accessory available for you to use it in the winter time. If you want to leave it on your car, that allows you to put skis and snowboards on it too. If you want to compare it to another hanging style rack, we always look at the Kurt Premium. You just get a little bit more weight capacity at 180 pounds and it tapers towards the end to accommodate a couple of kids bikes if you're bringing the kids out. 
But if you want something that's rugged and going to get the job done, I think the Yakima Full Tilt was a great option. It's just a look at how it fit on our 2022 Lincoln Navigator.